channel for another video how's everyone doing today so today's video is going to be a haul I I feel like I haven't done a haul since ooh, since last year no I did that haul for diva plus consignment but as far like a haul haul yeah I haven't done one since last year but anywho today's video is going to be a savers and a Joanne fabrics fabric haul I'm so excited I've been sitting on some of this stuff for about a week or so I went to saviors two weekends in a row I went one week with a friend who wanted to start thrifting who was losing weight and wanted to build her wardrobe without going overboard because she's losing a lot of weight and then I went another weekend who another friend who's on a budget who wants to start thrifting because she could just see the impacts of having some good thrifted pieces in her closet so I went two weekends in a row and I found some good things both weekends so I'm gonna share that with you guys as well as the springtime is slowly taking its time rolling in so I have been gathering my materials and my ideals and everything because I'm going to do some major, major spring DIYs. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. If you guys not, have not seen the video about my dress form unboxing, you guys check that out. You will be seeing this beauty in videos to come. Guys, I need a name for her. She needs a name. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. You guys name her, okay? You guys leave in the comment sections. Um, the comment section on either my Instagram or YouTube here on what you think her name should be and the one I get the most hits the most likes whatever I will that will be her name okay guys that should be fun okay so we're gonna get right into the haul okay so here's the haul from Saviors Saviors ha <laughs> ha been watching way too much Walking Dead oh Jesus the Saviors if you guys are caught up, mmm, 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 my heart is broken. If you guys are caught up, you know what I'm talking about. Anywho, first things first, we're going to go into Savers, Savers, not Savers, we're going to go into Savers. So, first thing is this beautiful, like, denim, um, duster, long cardigan, I love this distressed denim. It looks like an artist smock. My friend Crystal found this and let me try it on. And once I put it on, it was mine. Me and her was going back and forth for who was going to take it. You should never brought it to me. If you wanted it, you should never brought it to me. Um, this was $7.99. This was not on sale that day. But I do like this. I like the open back splits and the open sides. This is a real cute perfect piece for the spring and the early summer when it's a little bit when it's like 70 but it's still a little windy a little chilly you could throw this on and it would just elevate your outfit you could wear this with a pair of leggings and a plain tee or a pair of jeans and a graphic tee i love this this is too cute just like look at that distressed denim i mean it was not distressed it looks like it's been bleached um it like it's been bleached and worn and like i said it just looked like an artist artist smock to me absolutely love this this is so cute this is so cute next piece is this beautiful um women's button up with this this striped button up i love the red i'm trying to incorporate more red into my closet but this is more of a maroon kind of color but i do love it, especially with the tan gold uh, details on the stripe this one is was 450 450 but I paid half off because gray was half off that day so like this and this is from women's within yes no some some place that's called trendy looks I don't know what that is and it has shoulder pads I can't button it up but I think I can't button it up all the way but I think it would be something cute tucked inside of a pair of skirt or something that's cute I like that the next piece I'm real excited about, and it is this black moto jacket. Cute. It's this knit moto jacket. This is from CG Banks. 
I've, I've seen CG Banks. Um, they've been almost in every outlet mall from here to Ohio, from here to, uh, shoot, down south somewhere. I think they're heavily down south, but definitely I've seen them in Ohio and, like, St. Louis and, um, Michigan and Missouri, whatever. I, and this is a 2X. This was $8.99. Yellow was not on sale that day. But I absolutely love this. It reminds me of my Moto style jacket from Society Plus. But this one has pockets. I love the silver detailing. Really cute. Going to be perfect for the spring. And then definitely come roll around for the fall. And I need another black jacket. I have like two black jackets. But they're both like for more warmer weather. This is a little bit more for like I can pass this. I can wear this when it's like 70 something degrees. Especially at night when it's a little bit more chilly. So, next thing is an accessory, and I got this belt. I thought this belt was so cute, so retro. I've been looking for a double buckle belt, because you know the double buckle belts are in, and instead of me paying, I've never seen one in my size, or paying a ridiculous price for like a vintage, vintage one. I will say, if I go to the thrift store and I find two belts with the same buckle, I will create my own. So this one kind of has an aspect. I love the chain link aspect, and... That's how you undo it. As you can see, I've already undid the other side because I'm going to change out the elastic because the elastic is way too small to fit around my waist. But this was too cute. I thought this was too cute. Oh, like, oh, is this, does this not scream 90s to you guys? Like, seriously. How cute is this belt? So, next few items are some sheets. And curtains you guys know I love shopping at Savers Savers I love shopping at the thrift store for um, sheets and curtains you can find that and use it almost like fabric if you get enough of it, and if it's long enough you can use it almost like fabric. you can make anything from a dress a skirt to tops with it so first thing I found this pretty pastel purple almost almost a uh, lavender color um, it has these white polka dots I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick that up it has these white polka dots, and it is um, a twin size. This is just a flat sheet. Um, they only have one of these. This was $5.99, and I believe green was on sale that day. I can't remember because that was over two weeks ago. But I absolutely love this. I think it's going to be a perfect for a spring DIY. I'm thinking, if depending on how much fabric, depending on what I could always get away, I'm thinking of making a romper with this. Making um, a pair of shorts and a top. I want to try rumpers out. I don't know how they're going to look on my body type. So I think the, for me to try them out besides going to the store and trying them on is to make one of my own. But either way, if I don't how it like looks together, I'm going to make it so that I can separate it and just have a short and a top. So this is real cute. Absolutely love this color. Pastels are in every season, every spring season. So this is perfect right up the alley. Right up my alley. Next one is this kind of um, window pane pattern with this blue it almost remind me of chambray so almost like that denim material i think this is going to be real cute this is i think a martha stewart ones and this is again i think it's actually a full flat sheet i can't find a little tag uh, this is a full size flat sheet i'm thinking of making like um off the shoulder top dress either top or dress with this i think they'll be real cute like one of them denim shirt dresses but off the shoulder kind i absolutely love the pattern this and it's real it's lightweight no this is a twin so this is a twin sheet yeah i think that would be enough for a, sh a dress and here's the um the pattern up close real cute next one i'm really excited about like <sighs> I'm so excited. I've been waiting to haul this just so I can start on the DIY. And it is this yellow kind of eyelet sheer curtain. It's a curtain, like a shower curtain. You can see from the little runner here where you insert the little hooks. Um, is this, is this a nylon? I don't know. But I love this yellow, this color. I think this is going to be real cute as a skirt, like She's going to be a skirt, maybe a circle skirt or a box pleated skirt, 
It's going to be real cute. I love like the sheer paneling with the hole. It's going to be perfect for the spring and summertime. This is so cute. I wanted to add more yellow and orange into my wardrobe. But yellow because you know that's against my melanin. Mm, we finna be on one. She's so cute. Y'all, this might be y'all. This going to be the next DIY. No, wait. There's one before that I'm already finishing up and then her. She's going to be next. She's going to be real cute. Okay, speaking of fabric, I actually went to Joanne Fabric. Like I said, I went there yesterday because I had an appointment. I had my therapy appointment out there. So I just, you know, stopped over that way and picked up some fabric to complete all these DIYs I've been wanting to do. The first pattern is this floral pattern, floral fabric. This is like a jersey. This, this is a jersey. This is a knit stretch. It has this beautiful, like, um, like this, it has a beautiful floral pattern on it. I love, like, the light, like, the robin egg blue background with this pink and red flower with the greens and the pops of yellows. I actually was thinking, when I seen this, no, that's not going to work. That's two different yellows. That's not going to work out. That's not going to work. But I'm thinking I'm going to make a cute either dress. But I, no, I know what I'm making from this. I have a pattern piece, a pattern that I want to, I've been wanting to use for a while. And I think I'm going to use this top to make it. It's going to be so cute. And I got about two and a half yards of this. Just pat it up close. I just love that blue background. That blue background is really different. Either with florals, you get a white, a black, or like a pink background. I've never seen like this light, like Robin's egg shell blue background. So cute. The next fabric I got is just like this basic white knit fabric. She is going to be a basic white tank dress or either a tea dress or a tank dress just to wear underneath like my more colorful pieces like my more colorful jackets and cardigans and not cardigans uh kimonos and dusters and even probably underneath that yellow skirt that i'm going to make from that yellow fabric just something basic and white solid underneath all of the colorful pieces i have um so i can have something basic to wear underneath instead of always wearing jeans and a t-shirt sometimes i may want to wear a dress so this is just going to be a basic white tank dress and I just got some basic fabric with a nice stretch to it. That's about it. Oh, and this jerk, this knit fabric has amazing four-way stretch. Gonna be perfect for what I have in mind for it. You guys wait for that. Last thing, I just picked up some bits and bobs. Some bits and bobs and bobs and dins and things that I needed to replenish my stock. I got some color thread. See, I got all these pastel spring colors. I have the blue for like that blue fabric, that blue uh, material. Purple. And then some yellow. These were buy one, get one. Buy two, get one free. Or either buy one, get one free. I can't remember. But I picked up some thread. Some spools of thread. I picked up some more bobbins. You can never have too many enough bobbins. So you don't have to always stop and refill your bobbin. You can never have enough bobbins. Um, I picked up some elastic. I got this pretty gold metallically metallically this pretty gold metallic elastic for maybe for that gold belt. I think this would be real cute with that gold belt. I got some thinner elastic. This is one fourth inch braided elastic, and this is for a DIY to go along with that floral material and the pattern that I said I'm interested in starting. And then got some more needles for my sewing machine. And finally, the last thing I'm excited about is I finally got a pair of pinking shears. Love. The fact that I found these at such a reasonable price, Joanne for the past week has had almost the entire stock. Everything has been 40 to 30 to even 50% off. This weekend, they had um, friends and family weekend. So your entire purchase, including sale items, were 25% off. So I have my receipts here because I'm going to read you guys what I got. Oh, 
So these were originally $29.99, was basically $30. They was 40% off by themselves. And then I got an additional 25% off, including the sale items. So by these sell by themselves, these were less than $15. They was like $14.60 something. I could not. That was a steal. Like I forgot them at the counter. Because they had them locked up and I had to go, I had to bring them up to Canada. So by the time I got out there and rains out and everything, I forgot about them. So I was literally driving off with my mom. I was like, oh my God, I forgot. My mom would send me back in the store, gave me some, gave me her car to use. And when I told her that it was only $15, she was like, oh, that was a steal. I'd have been mad at you if you didn't go back and get them. These was $30. I got them for less than half off. Seriously. Next, um, so... I spent overall $75 in Joanne's fabric that day, but everything came up to like a hundred and something dollars because I got more than just my fabric and um, crafts, my fabric and so and stuff. I also got some craft stuff. If you guys are interested in seeing like my craft life, like how I do like my paper crafts, I'm into planning and scrapbooking. I do jewelry making. If you guys are interested into seeing that, because if you guys remember from a DIY I did last year, I made like these little um, collar necklaces clip things i made cufflinks and everything if you guys are interested in seeing more of that please let me know down below i definitely will include some of my hauls and um probably do like a monthly or bi-weekly like little planning video if you guys are interested in it i don't know like i get like paper crafts and like stickers and um scrapbook papers i have a i did that so if you guys are interested in a haul again let me know anywho so I spent $75 in the store, but everything came up to like a hundred and certain dollars. My total savings was $56.64. Like I said, everything was over a hundred dollars. Like I said, almost everything I brought was either on sale. And if it wasn't on sale, the 25% helped knock it down tremendously. Like I would have spent over a hundred, almost $150, but instead I only spent $75. Not that bad at all. Okay guys, that's it. That is my haul. I hope you enjoyed that. I had so much fun shopping. <sighs> Love it. I got so much good stuff. So I'm going to be very well occupied for the next few weeks. Banging out these DIYs. Banging out these videos. I have a style book coming soon. So you guys stay for that. The first official date of fall is next Wednesday. And there will be a video up and jumping off this fall season. And afterwards I will be coming out. Coming with you weekly. Probably twice a week. With the next DIYs. As well as my lookbook. Feel, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And Twitter. Everything is full style. Thank you guys so much for all your love. All your feedback. Um, I'm going to have more information up about my Patreon page. I am working on it and creating it as we speak and so that is something that's in the works that you sh guys should be seeing in the next week or so to come as long as 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 well as with the full kickoff of the spring season with diys and style books thank you so much for watching guys i love you guys so very much and if no one told you today you are beautiful and you are loved but most importantly always remember to love yourself fully until next time